The villa belonged to Sofia Loren's husband Carlo Pondi. In this villa he lived together with the movie star before moving to America, and constantly on vacation with his wife and children in Rome. In this villa the producer and his beautiful wife hosted famous guests, many Hollywood stars such as Kirk and Michael Douglas, Charlton Heston and Laurence Olivier. The villa with park is located on Via Appia Antica, a famous archaeological park from the Roman era, about 300 meters from the tomb of Cecilia Metella and only 10 minutes from the Colosseum. Some unique archaeological finds collected and preserved here by the movie star's family. The villa is harmoniously integrated into the park Appia Antica, surrounded by a private garden with centuries-old trees and flowers, thanks to which there is a beautiful air in all seasons. The trees here are more than a hundred years old. The villa has a heated swimming pool, 17 rooms, 6 bedrooms and 8 toilets, wooden, marble floors and mosaics even outside. Note the antique Roman sarcophagus against the wall of the house, it is real. The fact is that just outside the city wall were the richest tombs and the dead were buried there. Inexpensive marble sarcophagi, and judging by the style of the sarcophagus, it's from the 1st or 2nd century AD. The tabletop is made of Egyptian porphyry the most expensive antique material. Only emperors could afford items made of such expensive material. Here is an antique bathtub inside the room. The windows are propped up by antique columns. I'm sure it's all real. The antique Roman bathtub was planted with flowers. The column's marble capital elegantly leaned against the couch. A garden in the center of Rome is the privilege of the very rich. The villa is also decorated with paintings and simple but antique furniture, a table with a top made of antique marble, porphyry pieces of stone, a workshop in Rome sells them, the smallest table there costs 15,000 euros, the blue carpet brings life to the antiques room, and the cap brings the carpet itself to life, the wine room where wine is drunk in the hot season, but interestingly, it was the burial place of a noble Roman, surely no one thought at the time that one day the tomb would become the tasting room of a 20th century Roman villa. That's not a painting on the right-hand wall. It's an antique fresco with a plaster base. In a frame, on the table on the left is an antique lady's head. Marble bar reliefs on the walls. This house is a collector's or history buff's dream. The garden has mosaics on the floor, like the villas of ancient emperors. The neighbors also have large gardens. It means clean air and coolness even during the summer heat. It's a dream house. What do you think? If you agree, please give us a like. Let's see how many of us. Subscribe to the channel. Bye, everybody.